Hey, hello everyone. I'm David Guerrero and welcome back to another video here on Many Ways Films. In the video of today, I want to talk about this camera right here. This is the Nikon F100 and in the video of today, I want to talk about why this is my to-go film camera. I also want to mention that I already did a review about this camera when I first got it. I believe I had maybe two months only with the Nikon F100 when I made that video and that was 11 months ago because I got it the day after my birthday. I have a few point and shoots cameras and while I really enjoy those and I have gotten a few of my favorite pictures with them, I really enjoy SLRs. I'm just so used to DSLRs and most people that get into film have already used a DSLR or a mirrorless camera. I mean, you don't have a screen to know what you're getting. So in a way, you do have to think a little more depending on which camera you have. But the Nikon F100, it's one of those cameras where I feel like the, the camera is um, it's really easy to use. The camera is like really advanced. So even even for today, this is a pretty good camera. I mean, the camera has its its limitations you know the camera cannot know what you want to capture so the camera is just gonna meter for the best lighting scenario if you want to get the picture that you want and you know how you want it to look i would suggest downloading a metering app i use the light meter app uh, that one i bought for like i don't know like ten dollars something like that and it's one that works really good like the same uh, metering that the app gives me is the same that for example the nikon c8 or the nikon c62 will give me so it's really accurate like really really accurate uh, that's something to have in mind if you want to have more control of how you want your pictures to look like that's a really really good app to use the shutter uh, on this camera is not really that loud but i mean to some point you have to be aware that if you are on a place, you know, maybe a funeral or somewhere where you, people don't want to uh, be listening to the shutter clicks, uh, this is not going to be a good option. But there's really not many, if any, film camera that is quiet. So I think it, it's pretty decent when it comes to that. But um, this camera has autofocus, so if you like to rely on autofocus this camera has a really good one which is really surprising since um, um, a lot of DSLRs don't have the best autofocus but I feel like this Nikon F100 really does have a 9 out of 10 times uh, nailing the autofocus so if that's something that you're interested in and you want to have a camera where you know you just pretty much point and shoot and you don't worry about anything uh, this is this is the camera to do that so just you know if that's something that you're into uh, I feel like like this will be a really good camera but one of the biggest reasons that I like this camera the most is just because of uh, how it feels on the hand uh, for me that's something really really important when it comes to using a camera have in mind that I have a like, grip but this this looks like an f5 uh, if you don't know what the f5 is i it's just one of the best nikon cameras ever at least when it comes to metering out of focus and having all the most advanced features that a film camera can have so uh, the f100 is really close to that i'd say it's like really really close to an f5 so if you want to get something a little bit cheaper than the f5 this is a good option, but don't think that because it's cheaper, it's not as good as, as a camera. It has a really high shutter speed and this camera uses six AA batteries. So I just ran out of batteries and I just noticed today that I ran out of batteries. But again, I only put batteries once um, early this year in January and I just ran out of them today. So uh, that's something really cool and I mean, I use this camera a lot that's the film camera that i use the most so really easy to use the film loads itself on average i get 38 pictures with this camera because of how good of a job this camera does when you're loading the film i mean you pretty much just put 
the tip of the film in the inside of the camera and it loads itself so it gives you 38 photos so you're getting two more photos than if you were using a more of a manual uh, 35 millimeter camera so that's something pretty cool um uh, that's something that i really enjoy about this camera you know two more pictures that's pretty cool so and i mean i know some film places uh, where you where they develop the film for you they they'll charge you per photo but where i get them developed it's only they only charge you per roll so that's something really cool it's heavy but not not where you know it's uncomfortable or you'll get tired of it it's, it just feels good but again i have the battery grip if you're getting the battery grip you're gonna need six double a batteries if you want my opinion about this camera yeah i i love it i enjoy the camera i have thought about getting an f5 but i don't know it's just that i don't really need one with the f100 so if you're considering of getting one of these i would 100 percent recommend it it's a great camera it works really good it's fast and it's a very reliable camera i take it with me all the time you know when i'm picking between my film cameras this is the one that i pick again i do enjoy you know trying new cameras and that's something that i'm gonna be doing on this channel you know uh using more uh my older film cameras and making videos with them and everything and trying 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 them out too as well because i haven't tried some of them uh, that's it for the video of today if you have any questions let me know down here Again, I already made a review about this camera that it's more complete. Again, this is a great camera. If you're uh, looking at it as an option, I really do recommend it. Uh, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. See ya.